Hello, how are you? Uh, I'm here to talk about the Open Climate Network. Um, my name is Evan Pedromo. Uh, I'm probably best known in this community as being the founder of Wiki Travel, the uh, Wiki Travel Guide that is now a uh, Wikimedia project, uh, Wiki Voyage. I'm, I'm also known for my work. Uh, creating open source social networks like Identica, working on open um, standards for social networks. I'm a former Wikimedian where I was product manager for APIs, but today I'm here in my current role as director of open technology at the Open Earth Foundation. Uh, the Open Earth Foundation is a U.S. nonprofit. We have a worldwide team from Europe, Africa, South America, North America. Uh, and our goal is making open source software for a thriving planet. We work on, uh, with uh, universities to bring research projects into um, open source uh, products. And we also partner with international organizations like the UNFCCC, the UN organization uh, tasked with fighting climate change. Um, speaking of which, uh, we are in a climate emergency on this planet. I'm really sorry if this is the first you've heard of it. Uh, we are uh, at a point where we have had a temperature rise of 1.1 degrees Celsius over pre-industrial uh, average temperatures. Of that, 0.7 C has been uh, increased since 1990, so within the lifetime of most of the people in this room. Um, this is uh, causing uh, catastrophes around the world, as we uh, all see in our uh, newspapers, online, et cetera. From my home country of Canada, where our boreal forest uh, is uh, currently uh, causing evacuations to the far north in Yellowknife, to Maui and Hawaii, uh, tropical storm Hillary, which is uh, going to be the first uh, tropical storm to hit California in 80 years, uh, as well as heat waves, uh, sea level rise, wars, drought, uh, refugee crises around the world. Uh, climate change is uh, a real and present danger for all of us. Uh, the cause of climate change, global warming, is caused by our injection of CO2 and other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Um, scientists' best guess on how much carrying capacity our atmosphere has is about 450 parts per million of uh, CO2. We are dangerously close to that limit with uh, approximately 411 uh, parts per million currently. So we are, uh, and we continue to inject CO2 and other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere at a rate of about uh, 50 megatons per year, excuse me, 50 gigatons per year. Um, but uh, all is not lost. Um, in uh, 2015, the leaders of the world came together and agreed to voluntary cuts in uh, their um, uh, emissions of CO2 and other greenhouse gases with a long-term goal of keeping the increase of global average temperature to well below 2.5. Uh, two degrees above pre-industrial uh, levels, hopefully down to 1.5. Uh, the way that they are doing it is by having agreed upon um, voluntary cuts in their emissions and submitting climate plans. Every single signatory needs to do this. Um, and uh, many are uh, aiming towards net zero um, climate emissions by 2050. And some are aiming for uh, cutting their emissions in half by 2030. Um, of course, when you have this kind of voluntary framework for um, uh, any kind of uh, system, transparency is key. And that is why the UNFCCC uh, is managing a system called the global stock take. This is where all the countries in the world who have been working on uh, climate change for the last eight years, uh, do a voluntary self-evaluation, see how well they've actually done uh, lowering their emissions, and that's brought together by U UNFCCC. This is the first year, 2023, where this global stock take is taking place, and it'll happen this December. 
um, as part of the uh, COP28. Um, so, uh, very exciting. We've got a problem, but the nations of the world are uh, coming together to solve it, and they're gathering data to figure out how well they've done. Well, uh, that is the uh, upside. This is the uh, downside, is that um, national governments are not the only players, uh, the only actors when it comes to climate change. Countries are, of course, important, but states, provinces, regions also have uh, climate policies, cities, uh, corporations, uh, even individual emission sites like mines or farms or factories. Um, all of them have levers of control to de decide how much uh, carbon dioxide goes into the atmosphere. Um, so uh, these actors don't work in a vacuum. They have relationships, for example, part whole relationships. Um, a, the city of Austin is part of uh, the state of Texas, which is in turn part of the United States. And they have a relationship um, in the way that they actually execute on their climate goals. Uh, similarly, there's ownership, um, a uh, Kerr mining in, uh, in uh, Chicago owns a mine uh, in Palmarejo, Mexico. And that mine has uh, impact on, uh, on the world uh, climate change. We need to be able to understand what the relationships are between those actors at those different levels. Um, actors obviously need, these, um, need this information in order to harmonize their climate targets, in order to understand how they are doing, um, and also to organize and share climate actions and, and climate plans. They need to be able to understand what, what each other are doing in order to make good plans. Um, but we all need this information also uh, for um, uh, corporations or business entities. We need to know who to do business with, who it, who it makes sense to um, reward with our business, um, who to encourage in their work, um, and also who to hold accountable. So uh, climate data at all of these levels is extremely important. Um, data distribution right now of um, the distribution of this data right now is uh, very widely spread across the web. Um, many of these entities have, you know, 50 or 100 page PDF reports on their own websites. Uh, some data is compiled by regulators, for exact example, the EPA in the United States tracks a lot of data and does make that available, um, as well as the previously mentioned UNFCCC. Um, but uh, in some places, that uh, information is hard to, hard to get. And obviously, it's spread around the world with different regulators. Um, in academic journals, this uh, information is also tracked, um, but it's spread across multiple journals around the world. Um, and of course, as with any data sets, um, you know, any two data sets are going to have two different schemas unless they're well agreed ahead of time. We have different uh, data formats in document or um, machine readable data, as well as different methodologies for understanding what, what kind of climate data uh, needs to be done. Um, in order to deal with this wide array of actors, and the climate data that they uh, are providing, the uh, OEF, my organization, in partnership with UNFCCC and uh, our various academic partners, has developed a system that we call a digitally enabled independent global stock take, or DIGS, uh, where we track emissions, targets, and actions for actors around the world. Uh, we bring in uh, data from uh, international and national regulators, academic and self-reported data, and we harmonize it into a single schema uh, that we provide through our API. Uh, this API is RESTful and open, well-documented. All our uh, software is, of course, open source. Uh, we have libraries for um, data scientists to use to incorporate our data into their own models, um, as well as for other kinds of uh, interfaces. We also federate our data into a well-known system called the uh, OS Climate Data Commons that makes our data available uh, across the internet. So this data, big database is available for uh, calculations. 
we have an explorer of our data that covers some of the uh, some of the interface, but does cover some really interesting aspects. It's at openclimate.network. Uh, you can see the link on the on the page, and we have a GitHub where we maintain not only all of our code but also our source and harmonized data sets, and it's all available under uh, a very liberal uh, APL license. What we've learned during this time? Well, first of all, we've uh, incorporated over 63 uh, data sources from uh, countries around the world, from these different uh, international sources. We've got data, we're tracking data currently for 147,000 uh, actors at all those different levels. And uh, we currently have about 360,000 annual um, CO2 emissions records as well as 4,000 uh, targets, that's stated targets of these uh, different actors. You can see some inter interesting things that we uh, generate um, out of our uh, data sets. So on the left, you see uh, emissions of the top seven, uh, seven actors, which uh, cover a majority of the uh, CO2 in the world. On the right, you see uh, per capita uh, emissions. Uh, we also can do uh, work, again, working directly out of our API, seeing how well uh, different uh, actors are on target for their, for their goals. So this is showing the UK's uh, targets, uh, and it's not quite uh, on track. Um, we can also use the part-whole relationships for things like tracking if a um, actor is on, uh, is well harmonized with its parts. For example, this is showing that uh, the emissions targets for the uh, country of Canada are much uh, lower than for the different parts of uh, Canada, the provinces and territories. Uh, we're working on making our contributions easier. We currently use GitHub Flow. We'd like to be using uh, more systems for doing that. Probably the important thing for us is that we have learned through this process that um, not enough actors at the regional and city level are providing um, emissions data, reporting it or tracking it. Um, and one of the things that we are doing right now is working to help cities um, do their own carbon accounting. So we can take that 1% of cities, or excuse me, 5% of cities that are reporting emissions targets and, and bringing it up to a, uh, to a higher level, more, on, more along the lines of regions or countries. Uh, if you have questions or you'd like to try our system, it's at openclimate.network. I'm Evan at openearth.org. You can follow me on the Fediverse at evan at socialopenearth.org. Thank you very much. Oh, I should check questions. Um, great. So the first question, how could affiliate like Wikimedias for Sustainable Development collaborate with you? two important things that we need to do. First of all, is um, uh, help us develop our techniques for bringing in data and collaborating data. Um, and then um, secondly, is that we'd really like to figure out the best way to take the data that we've collected already and make it available through Wikidata to the other um, projects within the Wikimedia, uh, Wikimedia family. Thank you very much. That's my time.